welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I've got a five minute magic review for you. I'm taking a look at Jason Ladani's $100,000 location effect. Now this came out about five years ago. I've been using it for a little over two years and you can still pick it up from Penguin Magic for $10. You'll get a 45 minute instructional video where you will learn three versions of this location effect, which is also a mental divination effect. Give you an idea what the effect looks like. You'll be given the pack a very quick shuffle, and then you'll be having one of the spectators cut the pack in half. You're gonna tell them that you're gonna remove one card that we're gonna use, and then you're gonna have the pack divided in half. You're gonna have one of the spectators Put the face up ace anywhere they want it's a free selection you'll have one person remember the card that's above the ace a second spectator will remember the card that's below the ace and then you do this procedure where you have each of the spectators cut the pack a couple of times you explain to them that their selections are being moved and you can ask them if they would want to bet a hundred thousand dollars whether or not that face up ace would be in your dealt half or theirs and that will get a laugh but this is the procedure and it's really quick because you're using less than half of the deck and then you can have it replaced and you'll do the same thing with the second spectator. When you're done, you're just gonna remove the ace. You'll have one of them cut the pack in half. You're able to tell the first spectator, I think your card is, for instance, five cards down. You spread these, you can count down to the fifth card. You can ask them what their card is. You can reveal it, that's your first hit. And then the second spectator, you're able to tell them, I think your card is, for instance, six cards down. You tell them the countdown and verify it's there, but don't tell anybody what it is. And then you can read their mind in real time and reveal it to everyone. And they're gonna be completely baffled. So the three different versions that you're gonna learn, there's a version where you're using a memorized deck. There's a version where you're using a cyclical stack like Cy Stebbins or an eight king stack. And then the other version that's taught is an impromptu from any shuffle deck in use, even a borrowed deck. The trade-off is that if you do the impromptu version, you won't be able to reveal the second selection as a mental divination, unless you're using a marked deck, in which case you can actually reveal both selections if you're using that. But your spectators will think back and they will remember that you shuffled the deck, that they had a free selection um, uh, you know, free choice of their selections based on where they put the face up card and that you didn't look at the faces of any of the cards after they made their selections and that there was a mixing procedure. So they're going to be completely vexed on how it's possible that you could mentally come up with that second person's selection. Now, Jason Ladani recommends that you don't use this as an opener. And I agree. And really, it's the kind of effect that works perfectly if you're doing any kind of stack work because in, after you've done one or two effects with your stack, now you're apparently shuffling the deck and because you can shuffle more than half of the deck, essentially ruining half of your stack, no one would ever even begin to imagine that maybe there is some order to the cards, which is great. And this was an extra plus for me was that this is not just for one spectator, it's for two spectators, because over the years, I've tried to really add effects that use more than one spectator, because when you're performing for multiple spectators at the same time, it seems to increase the level of impossibility, and it also gets a lot more intention from people that are around and watching. Difficulty-wise, this is absolute beginner. There's no difficult sleight of hand, even though this is from Jason Ladani, and the main principles involved are really based on a die Vernon effect, where he has completely changed the presentation. Again, there is still some procedure involved, but it is so quick that you'll be done with the procedure before you realize it. And the presentation does cover why you're doing the procedure, and it does kind of get a laugh from your spectators. And before you know it, you're gonna be hitting them with a hammer over the head when you reveal those cards to them. In case you're wondering, there is no difficult mental gymnastics or calculations involved. Um, there's no angle restrictions and there's no gimmicks or gaps. So really it has so many positives to it, which is why I really do recommend this to you guys. I think the only real negative is that there's a little bit of procedure involved, but with so many card tricks that we do, there's always some small amount of procedure that is involved. 
Anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to go over with you guys. I think that you're going to absolutely love this if you're into card magic or if you do any kind of stack work, especially if you're looking for something that just uses a partial stack. And again, if you don't know a memorized deck, don't worry. You don't need to know a memorized deck. You can use any cyclical stack that you know. And even if you don't want to mess with that, you can even do the impromptu version if you like that as well. Anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. And this has been another 5-Minute Magic Review.